Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing good. I'm basically gonna start making videos to uh, help people out that are going on dialysis or if you have a loved one going on dialysis. Basically, I'd like to be able to help people out. I've been doing dialysis myself for almost 20 years. I started out on peritoneal dialysis. I did that for uh, about 18, a little over 18 years. And for the last year, I've been on hemodialysis. I had to switch to hemo. Um, didn't really want to, I had to, but <clears throat> I've been through the ringer. If there's anything you can go through that pertains to dialysis, I've pretty much done it. And I'm here to help people out. I know it's terrifying when you're about to be put on dialysis, when you're told that your kidneys are shutting down, you're 6% function or less, and you have to bite that bullet and go on dialysis. Terrifying. I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I hated needles for one. I still hate needles. I mean, who likes them, right? But all I knew of was hemodialysis with the gigantic needles. That, that's all I knew about. Uh, I was very um, ignorant to dialysis. And I guess most people really are until you know somebody that's on it or you're going on it yourself. Then, of course, you start doing research. I was just the opposite about the research. I I wanted to do it because I didn't want to die. But I just kind of shut it out. I didn't even want to pay attention to things. But I just know I was terrified. Terrified. There were a lot of questions going through my mind, but there was really no one to talk to. And from what I see, these new people going on dialysis, coming into the clinic and whatnot, it's still that way. They don't give you a lot of information, especially in the town where I live. There's only two nephrologists, and I live in Wichita Falls, Texas, which is a big enough city that there should be more than two nephrologists. There's only two clinics, two nephrologists, that's it. So that's the only option we have for when you, if you have to be on hemodialysis, that's it. I am a in the process of um, getting started with uh, at home hemo which yes you can do hemodialysis at home I'm gonna have to have my wife trained to stick me because I'm afraid of needles I can't stick myself I got great veins as you can see but uh, I'm not gonna stab them I got the fistula and I gotta hold my mic my mic stand broke See that made it. Those veins made a great fistula, and you would think they would have no problem hitting that, but guess what? They've in infiltrated my fistula three times now within the last year. Which, when you have veins as good as mine, you should never infiltrate. That's that's a whole other story. But guys, I'm going to make several videos. I'm going to make a series now. I'm going to put out at least, at least one video per week. And uh, I'll go through and I'll answer your comments. Leave me questions if you have any. I will get back to you. You can write me at kidneydiseasesucks at gmail.com. Or just, just leave a message on the uh, YouTube video here. And I will get back to you. I will. I will respond. I'm going to get on top of this. I really want to help people as much as I can. And if I can help you out with any answers to any questions you may have, that'd be great. Well, I just got my needles in. As soon as they get started. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, sorry guys, I don't have my mic with me. Just using the mic on the phone, but 
Four and a half hours. Fun, fun. Hopefully, we can uh, learn the at home hemo and switch to do that pretty soon. But I'll keep everybody posted. But yeah, here we go. Hey guys. Boy, last night was really rough. I don't know if you guys ever had these problems, but I could not breathe at all. Even with the oxygen, it was terrifying. I didn't want to go to the hospital because every time I go to the hospital, they may get me fixed up in a day or two, but they always keep me at least six days, a minimum of six days. And you just feel stuck when that happens. But it got a little better. Uh, my wife stayed out here with me for a while. And uh, that really helped. That, that helped a lot. Sorry, I'm so shaky, guys. I'm holding the phone. And, uh, I have really bad nerve damage. I should have put it on a tripod. But I'm still not feeling real good, so. I'm gonna get shaky cam, <laughs> sorry. Well, I went ahead and put it on the tripod because that was very shaky. Sorry about that. Yeah, as I was saying, I had a very, very bad night. Yesterday evening was terrible. Could not breathe at all. Uh, almost went to the emergency room, but also, like I was saying, I didn't want to end up in the hospital for six days. I'm just so sick of it. I've been doing dialysis for about 19 years. I did peritoneal dialysis for about 18 and now I've been on hemodialysis for about a year and I do not do good with hemodialysis I'm losing my breath again I have to finish this up a little later but anybody that has kidney failure, maybe you're having to start dialysis, or maybe you've been on dialysis for a while. Either way, I'm here. I'm going to start putting out more content and try to help people out. Since I've been doing it so long, maybe I can help you out with questions or any, anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Sorry, my, my brain is kind of hazy. I'm still out of breath. So I'm going to cut this short. But me watching... I am going to put steady content. Hopefully, God willing, my strength will come back a bit and I'll be able to talk more because I also plan to start a podcast because I feel like I have a lot of experience with this. I've, I've had so many things happened since I've been on dialysis because of dialysis. Um, I had a transplant in 2010, failed transplant. I'm pretty confident that the kidney was not working when they put it in. 
and uh, that wrecked me. It was only in three months and they had to take it out because it was becoming septic. And uh, I got very sick. That's another story. I will definitely fill you guys in on my background in, a, in the next video. You guys take care.